2024 AFL season predictions. I'm here with a couple of fortune tellers. I've got Dil Danoon back for another year. Dil, how are you feeling? Yeah, good. Oh, I did have a bit of a shambles last year, so uh, one go one better this year. Rog, back for another season. How are you feeling going into this? Yeah, I'm flying with the Eagles. I'm feeling good, except for the fact that last uh, predictions video is afterwards the Saints fan TV were all making edits. Yes. They were too happy that I predicted them to finish nowhere and all of a sudden at different points are in the top four. So I just got to try not to upset as many people this year because the people, they weren't happy last year. You know who really wasn't happy? The Adelaide Crow supporters. There was edits throughout the whole season of us. We're on TikTok. But I did uh, pick up on that one that we did copy from the uh, that Adelaide fan, but you know what? He still didn't make finals. The best part was leading into finals, the big campaign from the Giants was about how you wrote them off. So yeah, yeah, this, yeah. Is, this isn't just the Saints fans TV. This is the big leagues that are watching. They told us we had no chance. GWS, I reckon, are the slider. I reckon they're the team that really drop off this season. So now that we know that the whole league and the whole world is watching, we've bravely come back. Lee Van Gems didn't bravely come back. No, he's a coward. It got a bit too hot in the yeah. kitchen. Um, but we bravely returned to give our predictions. Uh, let's kick things off with our top four and the Premier. I'll go first. So Rog will be happy. For years, you know, when we first started doing this, Carlton were wooden spoon predictions that they were nowhere to be seen but i've got the blues finishing in first come on i've got the lions finishing second i have the saints finishing third the saints <laughs> <laughs> oh you'll regret that one <laughs> and i have the pies finishing fourth and i have the lions for the flag well i'm, I'm, I'm a bit taken back by the sanders but anyway come on <laughs> uh, i have brisbane on top lovely i have the pie second against every bit of my bone my body saying that they're going to be there again because i don't I have J.D. West in third, mm. and my other hated team, I have Port Adelaide in fourth. Wow. Wow. This is the first year since doing this little uh, gig with you guys. I haven't tipped my beloved Catters to be in the top four. My top four, and the premier, is the Brisbane Lions Football Club. They've just yeah. been there for so long. They're due. They've got to get it done. Second, my beloved Blue Baggers, Carlton. Third is uh, the Swans, and fourth is the Pies. Wow, the Swans jump back up. With Grundy? With Grundy. I think Grundy, it'll be pretty even between Swans and Pies and Grundy will come back to uh, James Jordan the Pies at the pub. to provide some depth. Yeah, I love what they've done, Swans. I love their little recruiting spree over the off-season. They filled some holes. And Joel like Hamling's a player. <laughs> Joel Hamling, he's a premiership player. <laughs> he is. Bit less, bit less predictable going forward now that the Bud Man's uh, vacated as well. Logan McDonald. He's ready. so ready, Logan McDonald. Yeah. He's been ready for ages. This one feels like a pretty safe bet. I feel like we should all be on the same page yes. here, but we're going for... The wooden spoon. So we all say it at the same time. Yes, let's do it. So three, two, one. Same West Coast Coast Eagles. <laughs> 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 I thought everyone was going West Coast. I thought we we're all saying the Did Saints. Did you say Saints? Yeah, no, nah, I'm joking. I, yeah. I was joking. Who are you going? West Coast. West Coast. Has and to be. North. I'm going North again. No. They're just so unappealing. To Honestly, me. look, I'm not going to pot any league footballer because they're better than us. But their defence is um, it's Toby Pink and Aiden Gore. Which, you know, coming up against Harry Mackay and Charlie Kerner, you just feel like you're going to be... North are a bit exposed, a but you look at their midfield group. They are uh, yes. they are exciting. They've got really good players that'll miss out on midfield time. So McKercher, yeah. Dersma. Oh, but uh, <laughs> no, I think West Coast have uh, uh, still got a lot of pain ahead of them, whereas North Melbourne are a bit along in their development. Is there a team that could finish Wooden Spoon runners-up? Like, for me, I think the Tigers could finish 17th this year. Yeah. I... Uh, I sort of alluded to this before, but I think between year, year 15 and 17, I think we'll be Essendon. Wow, mm. Essendon bottom four. Yeah, I just like, they just don't give me that flair anymore, that mm. any X factor. I just think they're just a bit bland. Do you have a bottom four Smokey? A bottom four Smokey would probably be Freo. I could wow. see them being a bit uninspiring this They've year. They've lost some depth. They've lost some depth and they didn't have much depth to lose. Long Muir is under the pump something chronic. So it wouldn't surprise me if they have a ho horrible start. He gets sort of sacked. I don't want him to, but he gets sacked midway through mm. and they just season's over before it's begun. They've lost Akers, Schultz, Henry, yep. uh, Tucker, Logue. They've lost a lot of those players, that depth players that that your team needs. They, Fife will be an interesting I watch. I was about to say, yeah, the uncertainty of Fife and also <laughs> Tabernacle coming back if he's yeah. fit. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. Mm. Well, you know who's a gun? Jaya Miss. He is good. He kicked 40 goals he last is good. year. Yeah. He's like a sort of wiry. And forward. he didn't win the Rising Star. No. Was he eligible? Yeah, I think he was. Not sure. And she's oh. won it. Oh, yeah. Yes. Fair enough, too. A team <laughs> that's just going to miss out on finals. Who is going to finish ninth? For me, it's going to, and it could be the second year in a row. I'm going the Adelaide what? Football Ooh. Club. 
They will they not. It. Nah, they won't take that next step. <laughs> right in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> right in front of me. <laughs> they, won't, they can't get robbed again, surely. They would have been in the eight last year if it wasn't for the umpire. They literally would have been in the eight if they gave Ben Keys the goal. And I think they've been given some liberties, like as a bit of an exchange. A lot more Friday horror. nights. Yeah, they've been given prime time. They've been given an easier fixture, I think, as a bit of a reward. So you know what? They're always winding out of South Australia, so they can get stuffed. Yeah, fair yeah. call. <laughs> yeah, well, if they make it, yeah. this will just make good fodder for their TikToks. You know My ninth place team is a team I would love nothing more than to make the eight, and that is the Gold Coast. But I feel like yeah. they're going to be right Right on the precipice, maybe miss out by a couple of percent, but they could make the eight. I hope they do, but I think they just miss out again. My uh, my ninth is, and I don't like saying this because they're rising up again. I think Hawthorne finished ninth. Whoa, wow. I do. A lot like, of injuries. I'm a Geelong, Geelong fan, and I, I, I like seeing Hawthorne just clearing out of finals. But I do think they come up. A lot again. of injuries at the moment, though. And just yeah, but I just think they're just playing with um, like on instinct. Like similar to what Richmond did like early days, like yeah. in your 2016, 2017. Playing they're, they're playing a bit instant. You yeah. hear people say Sammy Mitchell is going to be the best coach <laughs> in the league by some margin. So he could pull off a masterclass deal. We're going for the Brownlow medal and the Coleman medal. My Brownlow medal is Sam Walsh. <laughs> and my Coleman medal is Jesse Hogan. Ooh, yeah. the Hulk star. The big Hulk. He's got to play a full season. Yeah. Well, he kicked 50 goals last year. Yeah. Fair, so do you fair. think if... if Let's just say Charlie Kerno and Jesse Hogan play a full year. It's not like anyone gets injured. You think Hogan can put more runs on the board than Charlie? Mm. And say, um, or are you relying on injuries here? To I'm relying Jeremy on Cameron, the bounce of the ball, a oh. little bit inaccurate. My oh. Brownlow and Coleman, yes. um, and I hate to bring, I hope this isn't bias coming through. They are two of the favourites, but I think Walsh does win the Brownlow on the back of winning the MVP of finals, despite not playing in the grand final. And my Coleman medalist, Charlie Kerno, to go back to back to back. Has it ever happened before? I don't believe so. Oh, surely back in like the nineties and eighties, they would have had to. Maybe. Surely, maybe. Po- surely Lockett or someone did yeah, that. Po- yeah, but they had so they had the chief Jason Dunn. So there was they a lot did. of gun key forwards yeah. back there. Dunn's but love, yeah. I three, don't know if anyone's feet. gone back to back to back. So Walsh and Charlie. My Brownlow, like it's game pretty obvious, but the Bond. Surely the Bond finally gets. He, he needs <laughs> one. I want flowers. He has to. He needs one for his resume. And uh, my my Coleman is going to be Joe what? Danaher. Really? Nice. We saw him actually, like you know, he like he actually. He played more of like that team game last year. Yeah, he got up the ground, but then he got back and he was kicking snags. So I really think he'll do it. He'll do it this year. All right, let's get into the NAB Rising Star. Um, I'm going bias mode, and I'm going to tip Caleb Windsor. He is an outside silky player. Pick six. We picked him over Dan Curtin, which is ambitious. Hopefully that doesn't come back to bite us, but I don't think it will because he looks like a ready-made superstar. Does he play round one? He plays round one. Caleb Windsor. Can you win the Rising Star playing that half forward role though? No, I reckon he'll be like wing, potentially half back. Like he's a, a silky mid, but maybe it's like we introduce him to the league the way Dacos got introduced or Sheasel. Maybe he plays that half back role, but yeah. Caleb so Windsor, Windsor. Windsor has a better year than Harley Reid? Yes, I do think that. Is so, Harley Reid another one who's going to play a bit of forward though, a bit of forward mid? Maybe, too much? maybe. I don't know. Yep. What do you reckon, Rog? My rising star, I like when they've had a year or two under their belt, and I think Sam Darcy is ready to explode for the Bulldogs. I couldn't believe he's still legible. Feels like he's been there for a little while. But I think the big boy, Sam Darcy, will get it done and really take the game by the scruff of the neck this year. Down back or up forward? I think up forward. I think he goes up forward. I like that. Now, talk about legibility. I'm not sure if he is. And I said this last year, but now he's been transferred to to the Dons. I'm going Elijah, uh, I don't know, is it Cheetahs or Sardis? Oh, or Sardis. 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 Elijah Sardis. Yes, Suzuki. I said it, I said it last <laughs> year. He's had bad shoulders and everything like that. Now he's at Essendon. I read up before I came here today. He seems fit. So I'm going him if he's legible and if he's not legible. I've, I've gone. <laughs> Where I'm, was he before it? He's always been you know, the Suns. Really got the expert's opinion here. No, uh, Elijah Sardis has always been at Essendon. Never left. You're thinking Elijah Hollins went from... Oh, I am thinking of Elijah Hollins. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I am too. Uh, and where's he come to now? He's to Carlton. I'm not sure if he's legend. He's like 25. I don't think he's legend. <laughs> All right, let's just go with the safe thing. Let's go Dan Curtin. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the Curtin Razor. <laughs> oh. oh, brilliant. 
Oh. What expert insight Mate. that is. Yes. <laughs> that is. You won't find, I'll tell you what, you won't find that on SEM <laughs> with Kane and Kingy Fireball Friday. Is he legible? That's one out the box. All right, let's go to the All-Australian debutante for me. It'll be Kitty Coleman this year. What he did in the grand final. In that first half, he had like 25 touches. It was absurd. So smooth moving off the halfback. Kitty Coleman for mine. My All-Australian debutante. I reckon Gold Coast is going to have a ripping year and I think Noah Anderson is going to be leading the charge. Funny how he's uh, leapfrogged Matt Real, uh, despite Real getting nine Brownlow votes in his first three games. But I think Anderson gets into that All-Australian midfield. I'm sort of breaking a little bit of rules of the way we're sort of doing things right now, but Wow. I think uh, I, I think John Newcomb makes it in the midfield. And then as a real, real, real smoky, Connor Iden. <laughs> okay, I, like that. yeah, I, That's like, a good I pick. really like that. He, That's a great pick. I thought he was like a halfbacker, like but yeah. he's like a genuine intercept. Yeah, and now he, big he racks body. up about twenty to twenty four touches sort Strong, of occasionally. Yeah. Good decision maker. Yeah, he's a gun. That's still that might be the pick of the day, mate. Well done. Yeah, <laughs> it will be the pick You of made day. up for your last segment. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> What is a headline we'll see this season? I'm going for something very controversial, uh, which doesn't make sense because I've tipped Brisbane. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't make any sense because I've tipped Brisbane for the flag. But say they don't win the flag and they get off to a rough you start. You can't hedge your bets, mate. <laughs> they get off to a rough start. They finish sixth. They get rid of Chris Fagan at the end of this season. Chris Scott is the Brisbane Lions coach. So they're winning the Chris flag. Chris Scott, Brisbane Lions coach. They're yes. winning the flag and they're sacking fades. Now that will be yeah, a, it's one a, of the all-time wow. it, It's a Mick Malthouse Buckley type yeah, right. <laughs> handover. <laughs> handover. <laughs> okay, now that really is out there. <laughs> um, my headline you'll see is the game goes past Ross. Now, Ross the boss. <laughs> <laughs> we know that this is going to be the most exciting season of football. It's a copycat league. We saw how the Pies won the flag, run and gun. All the teams are doing run and gun exciting football yes. now. I think Ross's staunch defensive mindset might no longer – I know I did well for him last year. I think it might leave him behind. <laughs> and the Saints plummet down the ladder and he needs to reinvent the wheel at St. Wow, well, Ross Lyon passed it. Yes. My one is – I think they'll announce it this year, but I don't think it'll come into play till what are we – Probably about 2026, 2027. <laughs> oh, you could have but saved I, it for that. But, I, but I think they'll announce it this year. I think they'll announce that they'll bring in like the uh, like the NBA uh, coaches challenge in the AFL. Wow. AFL coaches challenge. Yeah. What's the coaches challenge? Well, captains challenge in the NRL. Yeah. Like where you, oh, you get right. one, yeah, yeah, one yeah, challenge. Yeah. yeah. They've brought it in the NRL. NRL is pretty fast paced. Yeah. It's competitive. Yeah. I just think I don't. Obviously, I think the headline is this year, but it comes into play in a couple of years. All right. We now have a new segment for the AFL predictions we're gonna go a quick fire segment i'm gonna rattle off five or six questions and i just want one word answers if it's their name can i say their first name and it's a two-word answer <laughs> you get yes you could say what did you just say because <laughs> yeah. it's first name and it's a two-word yeah. answer. can i say the first name and the surname or can i only say the surname uh you can say first name and surname. right i think they i think they deserve <laughs> that level of respect <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Quick fire starts now. Player to gain the most Insta followers. Cooper Hamilton. Nick Watson. Aaron Cadman. Team who slides the most. Essendon. Richmond. St. Kilda. <laughs> Team who rises the most. Geelong. St. Kilda. <laughs> Gold Coast. <laughs> Best recruit. Matt Flynn. Massimo D'Ambrosio. Guinea. <laughs> <laughs> Our boys. And player most likely to retire. Please do it. Sam Reid. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really not a Sam Reid man. <laughs> Please do it. Um, Rory Sloan. Levi Casbolt. That was it for the 2024 AFL season predictions. Um, now that it's all out in the ether, are there nerves? Is there trepidation? How are we feeling? No, nah, one thing I've learned is to take on the pressure. So if any of you boys come across anything, any hate, tag me in. Okay, I want to know. <laughs> I think the Saints are going to be oh, he's, he's he's good, is real it? hard. <laughs> but I'm ready for it. Pressure is a privilege. Uh, you know, this is what it's all about. Predictions, a lot of fun. Uh, let us know what you think we got right in the comments below. Let us know what you think we got wrong. Thanks to everyone who's tuned in. Thanks for all the support. And we'll see you next time. Go Blues.